So let's face it, your phone is an essential part of your everyday life, including when you ride your motorcycle. From listening to music to using it as navigation, it has become absolutely imperative to have your phone on you at all times, which means a good phone mount for your motorcycle is a necessity. So there's about a thousand different options of phone mounts for your motorcycle, from quad lock to rock form to ram mounts and stuff like that. I chose the rock form case. I have a history with these rock form cases. They have protected my phone and protected my screens for a long time. I've had other name brand cases like Otterbox and stuff like that. The first drop, my freaking screen got broke. Not the screen protector, the screen got broke. So um, ever since I went to rock form, my phone has been completely protected the entire time. So I chose a rock form mount for my motorcycle. A big reason why I chose this is that this is an all metal construction. Every single part of this construction is aluminum. There's no plastic, there's no crap. This thing will last the life of your motorcycle. And the installation is beyond easy. The box itself comes with two different sets of hardware that you need to put this on your bike. It comes with the standard set and it comes with the metric set. As this bike is from the magical land of Japan, all I need is the metric side, but let me show you what's inside. This is the box. It's extremely well packaged. You open it up, gives you a little bit of instructions of how you can use it and stuff like that. You gotta do is open this case up. And it comes with all of your parts here. Like I said, since this bike is metric, the only thing I need is the included Allen key. I always recommend anytime you do anything around paint and services that you put something down on your paint just to protect it from any tools falling. The last thing you wanna do is to be swiveling an Allen key and just swivel and scrape a big gouge out of your paint. That's not a good time. We're only gonna have good days in this motorcycle. So like I said, the only thing I need is this Allen key and the installation is beyond easy. This is the front brake assembly. The only thing you need to do is unscrew these two Allen keys right here, one and two, and then you put the, this device on here and then you re-screw these in. Like I said, this is all aluminum construction. So you don't want to strip these screws out. This is not steel. This is not one of those situations where you want to just sit here and herk on these. You don't want to strip any of this stuff out, but that's the entire installation. Unscrewing two bolts, re-screwing two other bolts in place, and then you have a rock solid mount. I have full faith and trust in this mount. I will say the only thing that's kind of difficult about this is getting your phone to actually lock in. Sometimes it might take you a couple tries. That's an incomplete installation. And now I have my phone. You can adjust this to swivel up and down. You can put it upside down and swivel it up and down this way, whatever meets your needs. You can even put this thing up sideways if you want that view, but I kind of like this view better. Chef's choice to each their own. It's your bike, fit the parts on it the way that you want them to be fit on. So I gotta be honest with you, I plan on taking this motorcycle on a lot of different road trips. I'm a huge road trip fan. I don't think I will need another mount in the life of this motorcycle because of how solid that is. I'm gonna take that thing everywhere and if anything happens, I'll let you guys know. I have full faith that this mount is probably the most solid mount on the market today. I've had the Ram mount X mount system. It's okay, but it's not confidence inspiring. I've seen my phone shift. When it has the little X grips that grip the phone, it can actuate your buttons on the side of your phone that can call 911. This is not a problem because it connects to the back of your phone. Quad lock, I don't have much experience with it, but it looks like a piece of plastic to me. I don't trust a piece of plastic to hold on to my $1,000 device while I'm going down the highway for hundreds of miles at sometimes 100 miles an hour. It's up to you what you choose and what you decide. To me, I like metal, I like solid construction, I like rock form. So guys, I'm out here braving the cold to give you guys a little demonstration of what it's like to use this foam mount system. Um, right now, Apple weather says it's 47, so it's a little chilly, but uh, you know, to be honest with you, um, my shooting schedule got all kind of messed up this week, so um, I just gotta make videos when I can. So we got a destination set, I gotta do a little bit of banking, super fun, right? Mortgage gotta get paid. I'm getting better and better at finding that lock. Sometimes because like you gotta put it in and then you gotta make the, the things match up. But um, right now that looks good. God, I know I say it every time, but this bike is so dirty. I need to stop being such a piece of shit. Alrighty, let's head on. We'll see how this works. Now the display is perfect. I can see it perfectly where my hands are. A lot of other mounts have you like up here or down here. And on this bike, it just doesn't really work because it's, it's a naked bike. There's not a whole lot of real estate here to really be uh, 
to mess with I don't really want to put something all the way up here because that doesn't make sense and then putting something down here or putting something somewhere where it would swivel and maybe hit the screen I just don't want to hit my screen it's a very nice display screen I have a screen protector on it right now well I just I don't want to I don't want to risk anything and I like seeing all of my actual controls for this motorcycle you know I don't like covering any of that up to explain where I live man you ever play Grand Theft Auto where like you get outside of the main city and then you go out into the sticks and there's like four buildings and trailers I swear to God that's pretty much where I live there's like a Hardee's a Dollar General a tiny tiny downtown and that is freaking it you know what's called when the bike is actually a little running a, a little bit higher rpms than it typically does just to try to keep the heat up like I'm showing you guys with this phone screen it is in a perfect orientation to see everything very clearly I can see my route perfectly clear I can see the instructions perfectly I'm a big fan of wired headphones because I have cauliflower ear which means headphones don't really sit in my ears very well so if I needed to I could plug in right here um, until I get some sort of hardware for a phone on this bike if I needed to I could plug in uh, external battery cable right here and run it somewhere on any one of my million pockets that I have it's perfect and you can literally put this in any orientation that you want like I said you could flip this up flip this back you can flip you could go the complete 180 and make it flip down here and you can flip it this way or that way you can orientate the phone horizontally instead of vertically I personally like the vertical look better because I feel like I get a better route representation you know I'm gonna get more of the route in the phone screen so you know it's just a very good phone mount I didn't mention it while I was on the ground this has got two locks so it's got the mechanical where it locks into place mechanically and then it's got a magnet every one of these rock form cases has a magnet which is super convenient because I can take this phone and if it's something metal I can just slap the phone on the piece of metal so like I'm in the gym I can slap it on a squat rack it's so convenient for that stuff it also function as, as a dual lock system it's got a mechanical and a magnet both of which would probably be perfectly fine for holding this phone it's just really good it's really good I've had these cases now for years I actually bought this case after seeing them on daily driven exotics which I don't know if you know anything about daily driven exotics Damon from daily driven exotics beats the crap out of everything and he would take his phone in the beginning of almost every video with a rock form case on and chuck it across like a concrete warehouse or like chuck it into the street and this phone was always fine and honestly I've never had a problem with these rock form cases I'm really clumsy with most of my stuff rock form keeps all, all my shit safe so I remember the first time I had an otter box on a, a brand new iPhone 10 at the time and the first time it slipped out of my pocket and hit the ground the screen cracked and the rest of the time I had that phone I just had to deal with the cracked screen like it wasn't the, the screen protector it wasn't anything to replace it was literally the screen worst case scenario otter box immediately let me down and those things are not cheap either they're roughly the same price as a rock form and these do so much better literally had this on phones for years had two or three iPhone tens at this point and I just take the case and I put it on the new phone it works every time I love it coming out to the sticks which is just where I live the views are absolutely great if you like cows and grass and it is just you are in the middle of nowhere out here this is between Bunn and Lewisburg North Carolina if anybody was interested it's like literally almost a 25 minute drive to get to almost anything besides for a crappy local grocery store man that's run down damn I wonder what that used to be I don't know what you guys feel about it I kind of hate the fact that I rely on my phone so much for everything it's almost become a necessary evil I mean we use them you know on a motorcycle we use them to not only navigate but listen to music music is always very important to me on a ride you know and then also it's our lifeline to everybody we know nobody remembers numbers anymore so it's all on your phone you know this is essentially how you're gonna get help if you wreck out in the sticks I've thought here and there about going to a dumb phone again and like doing a flip phone style getting a Motorola Razor back in like be like 2006 chic but honestly like I can't get away from the smartphone I just I rely on it too much they're too convenient having a rock floor mount for my bike is just beyond needed at this point I got a few things planned on this motorcycle um, besides for just using it as an everyday cruiser and using it as my pretty much everything fun machine I want to go on a couple road trips this year um, the first one would probably be to Cleveland Ohio to visit the folks um, do some vlogs in Cleveland maybe hit a cycle cruiser I don't know he lives up there and he's also has the MT-07 um, everybody loves the MT-07 super awesome to have this full mount set up I do need to get some sort of charging so I can listen to music and route um, I'll probably do the same thing I did last time which is literally swipe right no highways no tolls whatever 
you know, I made a list of things that I want to do this year and I put on the top of the list, like if you die today, things you'd be bummed if you didn't do. Biggest things on there are, you know, number one, go skydiving. I have a skydive plan for this Friday. It is Monday today. You guys are watching this on Tuesday. Um, so skydiving and also take epic motorcycle trips. An epic trip that I have planned is something that I've always wanted to do, which is go to Seattle. And un unfortunately, this bike will probably not make it to Seattle. Um, I'll have to fly there and rent one from like Eagle Rider and then take a trip down the left coast on like a Tenere 700 or something like that. Uh, that's kind of what I want, a Tenere. I love that bike. But a left coast motorcycle trip all the way down the Pacific Coast Highway is on a bucket list. Things that I would be bummed out if I didn't get around to doing in my life. So um, we'll see. We'll see how this works out. I might take this with me and install it on the Tenere. Just things that I want to do. Things I want to do. You need to take more motorcycle trips. That's the biggest thing. Take more epic motorcycle trips. Left coast would be a warm up and then Europe would be the absolute epitome of a motorcycle trip that I want to do. Trip by motorcycle. Man, what about Japan? How cool would Japan be? Like starting the north side, I don't even know if you can rent a motorcycle in Japan. Start on the north side of Japan and then like traverse the entire country, which I'm sure the entire country isn't even that big, but their road system isn't like ours. They don't have a, an Eisenhower highway system over in Japan. If anything, they probably don't really like American generals after a couple things that happened there around 1945. Get out of the road. Now get me run over, bro. So guys, this is like the biggest thing that I wanted to do. I really wanted to show you guys the mountain action, how it, how it gets me places, how it routes, how it connects, how it looks up here. I hope you guys like the way it looks. It seems a little busy right now. Um, this is not how I typically use my motorcycle. I usually don't have a phone up and a camera up, but it's a necessary evil when it comes down to using your motorcycle as an everyday thing. I think one of the biggest things about having something like this up in places that you don't know is, I know there's a speed limit sign here, but having a speed limit right here, I don't know about you, but I go through Virginia, I go through some of these unfriendly police heavy states, and I'm scared. I'm scared of speeding and getting pulled over. I don't want to court date Virginia, you know? You know, having this up, knowing where you are, knowing the general orientation and layout of things is just super important to me. And also having a, a good indication of how fast I could be going before I get any police attention, just beyond useful. I love it. Especially when you find yourself in new places, unfamiliar places, maybe even unfriendly places. So just to give you guys an idea of the things that I like, I know this sounds like a rock form commercial, although I'm not paid by rock form, I highly recommend their products. I, I literally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be saying anything nice about them if I didn't highly recommend them. This, this is 100% all of my thoughts and my opinions. You might hate rock form. If you hate rock form, throw me a comment down below. See if you've had any failures. I'd like to know. I really would like to know. Do you guys have any problems with rock form? Before I find myself several hundred miles away from home without having anything to route, <laughs> that's an issue. That is a freaking issue. But I am at my destination. I have to transfer a whole bunch of moolah for my mortgage this month. Stupid adulting stuff. Adulting is stupid. But we'll see here if we can go through the uh, go through the drive-thru and not slip on this fresh cut grass. I really don't want to go in. I don't want to get warm and then have to come out to the cold. I do not want to do that. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below. If you made it this far, I'm sure that you enjoyed the video and you would like to be notified for more. So. Thank you guys so much. Deuces. Gee